Hello, my dear Piscean friends. I have your forecast for December in front of me. And oh, it is lovely. Look, let's do it together. This is so cool. I'm going to start with Mars. Why Mars? Because that's what comes first to us. That's what we put first. That's what, um, that's what we fight with and fight for. <clears throat> Mars is passion. Mars is energy. Um, it's, it, well, you know, it's been retrograde for a while and then last month it went direct. We're in the shadow of the retrograde, which means we're still feeling a little retrograde remnant is what I call it. But with Mars, what you throw yourself into in your second house, you can create tons of money. You'll spend it too. It's spending, getting, spending, getting, or getting, spending, getting, spending. But that's what comes first to you. And if it comes first, you're going to create it. Now, let's go up here. Look at this area. Isn't this beautiful? Venus, the pink planet, the planet of love and beauty and art. Um has been in your ninth house of the higher mind. You're seeing a much bigger picture. You're seeing options open to you. You didn't know you had before. Venus is love. And so what do you love? Higher mind, higher education, principles and concepts. This is not ideas. This is the big picture. It's beautiful. Then on the 15th, it moves into your 10th house of career and leadership, and you become a loving leader. Your popularity soars. Uh, it's just great. So you've got money going on. You've got the career going on. Let's look at the sun, the yellow planet. That is the center of our world. It's the giver of life. And with the sun in the 10th house, you are the authority. You can speak with those in authority. So you are a loving leader. Mercury, the blue planet, is also in your 10th house. Mercury is what we think about and talk about. And whatever you think about and talk about, you create. It's just gorgeous. So this is terrific for your career. Now, Mercury moves from the 10th house of career into the 11th house of friends and group activities. And so you're thinking more about your friends after the 20th or on the 20th and thereafter. And so what you've got is um, a lot of communication with friends, thinking about them, talking about them, or talking with them, I should say. And then on the 21st, the sun joins Mercury. And so the center of your life shifts from your career to your friends. Maybe you have uh, an organization that you have dedicated yourself to. This is a wonderful placement for giving time to organizations that are of a humanitarian nature. It's just beautiful. Now, we have a new moon on the 14th. The new moon is when energy starts flowing, starts moving forward. But this is not just any old new moon. This is a solar eclipse. We feel the effects of an eclipse at least a week ahead of time, probably more like two. Some people don't feel it ahead of time, but many of us do. Um, on the 12th is when it occurs. It's in 23 degrees of Sagittarius. The new moon brings in new energy to your career. It is just marvelous. It backs up everything in your 10th house. Go to your birth chart, take a look at that and see where 23 degrees Sagittarius is. That is where this uh, particular solar eclipse will start functioning. Combine it with what I just said, and you've got the whole picture. Then two weeks later, we have a full moon in your fifth house of fun and games and children. 
So it's time to party. And that full moon is on between the 29th and the 30th, depending on where you live on this planet. It is in nine degrees of cancer. Find nine cancer in your birth chart. This full moon emphasize, in the solar chart emphasizes partying, being creative, having fun with or without kids. It helps you socialize. Mm -hmm. So it is the 11th house, but the fifth house is your personal love life. The 11th house, your friends and group activities. So you want to check out both of these lunations in your birth chart and combine them with what I'm saying. And you've got yourself a beautiful December. If you would like a reading from me, makes a, a wonderful gift around the holiday time for those you love, starting with you. Um, just go to my website, maxinetaylor.com. All the information is located there. So till we meet again, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.